These distinctive flightless seabirds are adapted for swimming and surviving life in extreme cold. Penguins spend most of their lives in water, propelling themselves with flipper-like wings in pursuit of fish, krill, and squid. They have a thick coat of short, stiff, overlapping feathers that streamlines the body, repels water, and conserves heat. Most species come ashore during the warmer months to breed, usually forming large colonies. On land, they do not perch but instead stand upright and move with a waddling gait. Penguins are confined to the seas of the southern hemisphere. Although most common in cold climates, several species are also found where cold currents flow north into tropical regions. Only two species, the emperor and Adelie penguins, spend the winter in Antarctica. Penguins have a plump body with short legs and webbed feet that are set so far back that they must stand upright on land, balancing on their feet and short, stiff tail. When walking, they put their weight on the soles of their feet, hence their awkward gait. On snow or ice, they may toboggan on their bellies, using their feet and flippers for propulsion. A penguin's body is streamlined in water, and is covered with extremely short feathers that form a sleek, friction-free surface. The wings are specially flattened into flippers. When underwater, they use their feet and tail as a rudder. Penguins have three layers that provide waterproofing and insulation. A dense mass of overlapping, oil-tipped feathers, a thick layer of fat under the skin, and, in between, a layer of air that is warmed by the body. The plumage of penguins is black or gray above and white below. Any coloration or ornamentation, such as crests and eye tufts, is confined to the head and neck. Most penguins breed in colonies, which can consist of hundreds of thousands of birds. Nests are made of grass, feathers, or pebbles, and the female lays either one or two eggs. In some species, once an egg is laid, the female leaves the nest to feed, while the male keeps the egg warm, holding it on top of his feet and beneath folds of skin on his belly. Penguins are still able to walk when the egg is in this position. The first period of incubation can last weeks or even months, during which the male does not feed but lives on stored fat. When the female returns, the pair take turns to guard the eggs while the off-duty bird feeds at sea. One of the few penguins that nests on mainland Antarctica, along shores that are free of ice in summer, the Adelie penguin is mainly blue-black with pure white underparts and a distinctive white ring around its eye. It breeds in summer in vast colonies of 200,000 or more synchronized pairs, each female laying two eggs roughly two days apart. Both the male and the female incubate the eggs in shifts. The Adelie penguin is relatively aggressive, and adults are often observed stealing. This mainly blue-gray bird is the smallest species of penguin, and also one of the few that remain fully active after dark. During the day it forages at sea, but after sunset in the breeding season, it returns to land, coming ashore under the cover of darkness. A highly vocal bird, it calls at sea and on land. Little penguins normally nest in underground burrows, but they also breed in caves, crevices, under bed of sticks or grass, and the parents take turns at incubation. Chicks are brooded for 7 to 10 days and guarded for a further 13 to 20 days. At sea, the little penguin feeds alone or in small groups, catching small fishes and swallowing them beneath the surface. Easily identified by the black line around its chin, the chinstrap penguin is one of the most abundant penguin species. Males and females look identical, with blue-black bodies, white undersides, and straight black bills. They live at sea for most of the year, feeding in open water north of the polar ice. When swimming at speed they often leap clear of the water. Or porpoise, which allows them to breathe and coats their bodies with a layer of air bubbles, reducing friction with the water. In November, Chinstraps return to their breeding colonies on ice-free shores in Antarctica and on islands in the Southern Ocean. Here, they make their nests by scraping together small stones to form shallow cup. Chinstraps tend to be more aggressive than other penguins, particularly when breeding. They steal stones from their neighbors and chase away any larger penguins that attempt to nest nearby. The female lays two eggs, and her sea by chick fledge and sets off for the February or March, when the southern fall begins. Chinstraps feed almost entirely on krill and their current population growth, like that of Antarctica's krill-eating seals, may be linked to the decline of krill-eating baleen whales. Also known as the Cape Ape Penguin, the Jackass Penguin is the only penguin that breeds in Africa. It is found from the wild coast east of Cape St. Francis westward, and northward to the skeleton coast near Volfus Bay in Namibia. Physically, it bears a strong resemblance to the Magellanic Penguin from South America, although it has a single black breast band rather than two. It feeds on small fish such as pilchards, sardines, and anchovies, and gets its name from its braying call, which may be heard on shore when it breeds. Jackass penguins nest in burrows, 
and in the past, many of their nesting sites were destroyed by farmers collecting their droppings, or guano, for use as fertilizer. Today, depletion of food stocks due to overfishing and oil spills are two major threats that they face, along with competition from fur seals for breeding sites. Their numbers are in sharp decline. The largest of all the penguins, this bird has highly unusual breeding habits. In winter, the female lays one egg and goes to sea, not returning until the spring. The male carries the egg on his feet and protects it with a pouch of feathery skin, huddling with other incubating males to keep warm. He fasts until his mate returns, just as the chick hatches, and then goes to sea, later returning to help rear the chick. This species can dive to depths of 1,750 feet, 530 meters, for as long as 20 minutes, and travel up to 625 miles, 1,000 kilometers, on foraging trips.